We're here at ASCA 2015 talking about precision genomics. I'm here with Dr. Sharanya Ragana. Now, Sharanya, tell me a little bit about the bioinformatics process. Uh, thank you, Teja. So the bioinformatics process in our lab is a two-step process. In the first step, we uh, perform quality metrics using well-known bioinformatics algorithms. Once, we, uh, once each sample goes through the process and passes the bioinformatics quality check, we take it through the entire pipeline, which includes variant calling, annotation, and curation. So Sharanya, tell me a little bit about how you establish the quality. Um, so what we do is we adhere to the ACMG guidelines in our laboratory. Um, ACMG is the American College of Medical Genetics. Um, they've set some uh, strict guidelines for clinical labs in regard to mean depth of coverage and quality threshold. Uh, let me take a minute and define those two metrics. Okay. So the mean depth of coverage is actually looking at how many reads are aligned at your targeted region. So what we noticed is that um, in our validation sample, which is about 100 patient samples, mm -hmm. uh, our d mean depth of coverage was over 200x, uh, which is well above the guidelines provided by ACMG. The second uh, metric that they focus on is the quality threshold. Now, quality threshold is defined as the percentage of exons covered at 10x or higher. Uh, what we do in the lab is we definitely capture that metric, but we also go beyond and capture the percentage of exons covered at 100x or higher. We recognize that these are patient samples and we are a clinical laboratory, so we want to send in the highest quality of data within the first tier of bioinformatics into annotation. So what, what we've noticed is when we capture the quality th threshold at 10x, we capture about 90% of our exons that are covered at 10x or higher. ACMG standards are 90% to a 95%. So we definitely adhere to their standards. So what does this mean on a clinical level if we are testing that high of quality? Um, it means that we're sending in really high quality samples into annotation, curation, and interpretation. So it sounds like not only do we meet the standards, but we go well above that standard. Uh, absolutely, and we pride ourselves in um, our quality process. Um, our quality process is very unique to, uh, as compared to other uh, companies and other tests out there, because not only do we have set quality standards before we push the results to annotation, but our quality also validates the wet bench and we can prove that our quality standards are working because we see really strong clinical actionability in our reports. Well, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you, Tasia.